What's going on everyone? Welcome to another video. It is an extremely windy April day and that means one thing. We are kind of delegated or relegated, yeah, relegated to fishing the pier today. Not many other options. My big goal today is to catch a bunch of migrating pier fish. Number one fish is going to be big jack crevels. You're going to see giant schools of jack crevels coming down the beach this time of year. Number two, I would be absolutely ecstatic to catch either a cobia or a kingfish. Let's get into the video. So I've been fishing this pier for over a decade and probably my fate, one of my favorite things to do is sight fish fish. So in the springtime when you have the big schools of Jack Crevels coming down, a big spinning rod and a big heavy metal lure like a diamond jig, like this Ocean's Legacy slingshot that you guys are seeing a clip of are money baits because you can cast really far, you can reel them on top and they look like a fleeing bait. They look like a fleeing ballyhoo, houndfish, sardine, something like that. And sometimes when the jacks are in a feeding mood, they will absolutely crush it. Other times they can be kind of finicky and they're just kind of in a migratory pattern and they don't really care what you throw at them, they're not gonna eat. But finally, after multiple schools, I was able to hook one of these bad boys. Watch this. There we go. That's one. Got him on. Nice big jack on. Hauling. No drag clicker, no problem. Look at them. More, more, more. More, more, more. Look at them all. Oh my God, look at them all. Oh my God. Chasing it. This is a big one. Oh, it came off right there. broke off or something. I don't know if I got sharked or what. You think there's sharks following them? Yeah. <laughs> well, that was dumb. So when I tell you guys that I've been doing this for over 10 years, I've been fishing for these jacks for a long time and I can tell you I've never ever had a full-size jack crevel like that, probably 25, 30 pounds, eaten by a shark within minutes of, like within seconds of hooking it. So. <laughs> There may be a shortage of sharks worldwide, but I can tell you guys there is definitely not a shortage of sharks here in Southeast Florida. There's definitely uh, quite a few of them these days, and now they're even following the big schools of Jack Crevels down the beach. Wild. There we go. Jack on. Oh, there's the shark.
Sure. Nothing, nothing now. Shark chase him right underneath the beer. Break that one off too? Shark chase him bloop, underneath the pier, yeah. Literally, as soon as he came up on top, I was like, hmm. Probably like, you know, 100 pound black tip following him, and then he just goes straight under the pier. So when you get a super hard wind this time of year, obviously it's gonna make it super rough. And when you're targeting big fish in rough water off of the pier, your likelihood of landing them just goes down immensely. I'm gonna tell you guys, if I, if I looked like an idiot in that clip, I felt like an idiot. I felt like I got schooled by that fish, and man, I may be smiling right now, but I can promise you I was not smiling after I lost that fish. I, I hate losing jacks, or I hate losing anything in situations like that. up big jack on the slingshot there we go that was so sick missed the e on the video this is a big one though cheers Hell yeah. If you guys are new to this channel, sometimes in my videos, I will give you guys a little bit more context and I'll kind of voice over and I'll hang out and react to the footage with you guys. I call it Beers with Ryan and I think it just gives you guys a little bit more idea of what's going on and kind of gives you guys an idea of what I'm thinking in these processes. So let's react to this footage together. He's running, he's riding those waves right now. Super sick. So at this point, I've already lost three or two big jacks, right? So I'm a little bit frustrated at myself and I'm kind of frustrated at the fish too. One of the biggest things that you need to pay attention to when you're pier fishing is that the fish is straight out in front of you. You don't want it too far to the left. You don't want it too far to the right. So you gotta walk up and down the pier. You gotta physically move your body and keep them out in front of you because when you have a bad angle on the fish, they're gonna end up underneath the pier and they're gonna break you off. So you gotta walk and you gotta be willing to move and uh, ask people you to got move me? because Thanks, as soon man. as you're hooked up to a fish, you are, uh, there's gonna be people and they're gonna be on the rail and they're gonna be trying to see what you got and they don't know any better. So you gotta be able to politely and firmly ask them to get out of the way. So right now I'm just taking cranks, taking cranks, trying down. to get tight, okay. trying not to run over any senior citizens. And uh, I also asked my buddy Stefan to uh, get, a, get a net for me. Um, that's another thing that you gotta make sure when you're leaving the tee that you have someone come with you and they need to bring the net. And do the old reach around the pole here, which is uh, pretty awkward, but you just gotta make sure to keep it. I think I'm over tight. you. You don't feel me, right? Then, as you go down the pier, if it's a busy day, it's inevitable. You're gonna get tangled with people. You're gonna be under, you're gonna tell them you're under, and they're still gonna not understand what you're saying, and they're just Got somehow their lines seaweed. gonna That's get wrapped around. And uh, specifically on this day, you guys can see all that orange stuff in the water. That is sargasm seaweed. This 10 foot is annoying to fight fish on, I'll say that. <laughs> that seaweed just gets stuck I'm fighting all the rod as much as I'm fighting the jack right now. So, I'll talk about that in a sec. That seaweed gets all stuck on your line and uh, it just creates extra drag, extra resistance that you're pulling against and you're not Coming really putting you, direct folks. pressure Coming on the fish. Coming towards you, Coming towards you. Pick that rod up, please. There you go. Um, I'm actually gonna go Right here, he's turning around. <laughs> this jack right here just busted out another solid like 50 yard run. I'm pretty tight drag. I tightened up my drag thinking he was gonna come in right there. That thing just ripped and you can see this giant clump of seaweed still hanging on my line. Coming back your way. But I was just, I was talking to my buddy and I was saying how a 10 foot's definitely not preferred. On this day, the coming 10 foot down, rod, I was like the only person that could reach the jacks because I could outcast them. But when you're fighting fish, uh, the longer your rod, the longer or the less leverage you have on these things because you just end up fighting the rod a little bit more. 
nine foot is kind of the preferred length for pier fishing. It's kind of that sweet spot of casting distance <laughs> to being able to still fight Thanks, fish. Man, I appreciate but, uh, you. Definitely wouldn't have hooked those jacks this hey, day. I don't want to break my two piece. Ten foot. <laughs> So you guys can't necessarily see how many people are following me, but at this point there's like 15, 20 spectators, tourists just walking up and down the pier with me and they, they always want to jolt to the rail and look at what you got. And it's a, it's pretty annoying, but it's something that you just kind of got to understand what's happening and you got to firmly ask them to get out of the way when they do get in the way. And this fish keeps coming, keeps coming. And uh, I'm just happy that there's no shark on this one at this point. I'm just trying to dodge the seaweed and just put pressure when I need to put pressure on this fish. Coming around. And that's always sketchy. When going on and off the tee, bad things tend to happen because there's always rods, there's always people in the way and the fish just do erratic things. Normally jacks don't like to go under the pier, so this day I was really surprised when I lost that second one. But once I, at this point, I saw how big this jack was, I knew I really had to put some serious heat on him. You guys see the pier net going down here. Definitely want to net him when we can, because uh, I do like to release him sometimes. But you see here, the jack is doing circles. Oh, and. Okay. Uh, I think I'm out a little out of practice and my buddy Stefan's a little out of practice when it comes to netting fish. So this Jack's just doing donuts around the net and you All know right, a true pure veteran I'd be not letting this happen but uh, apparently I was making rookie mistakes this day and I'm just kind of letting the Jack go around the net over and over again and at this point we try to get it untangled. You see here. Right this way? But my braid essentially went in between the braids of the rope and it was just a tangled mess that we couldn't figure out. And uh, you see the jack still swimming down, trying to get under the water, and it's just a whole sketchy, nasty abomination of a situation. It's just <laughs> really bad. At this point, I was like, I don't know if we're gonna land this fish. Grab that, just grab the rope. We decided to try and get a gaff because um, at least we want to try and land the fish, and. You know, if we do gaff it, Come we're going to give the fish away to yeah. someone that's going to eat it because there, there's always people on the pier that want to eat these things, even though I like to release them. So I got Stefan coming on my right side. His nickname's Highlighter. Don't don't ask me why. It's just a pier nickname. It's something about fishing on the piers. They get nicknames. But you see, this is just a complete disaster at this point. We got the gaff, me tangled in the net rope. The net's just hanging there. Some random kids on the net. It's just ridiculous. There you go. <laughs> Double. <laughs> Somehow that jag swam into the net. Well, I don't know if you've ever yeah, netted a fish before. I have. That didn't it's <laughs> just, it is what it is. Happy that we got this thing in the oh, net. There we go. <laughs> Definitely not small. is yeah. my biggest jack in quite some time. Super, super sick, guys. After losing two today, just one sec, I'm talking to the camera real quick. You're all right. Super, super sick. Lost two today, got yeah, broke off, one shark ate it, but super, super stoked. Really excited, awesome eat. Crushed the diamond jig. Let me get that out. Just come in real close here, Jake. This. this out. They like this, uh, this is that Ocean's Legacy Keeling. Ow. When you get these guys, you get them good. Oh, there we go. Bam. This is that Keeling that he ate. Super cool. So I was absolutely stoked to catch that big jack. That was the biggest one I've caught in quite a while and definitely the biggest that I've caught 
sight fished off of the pier on a lure in a long time. So very reminiscent of my teen years when I kind of lived out on this place and uh, just awesome to see. And I was super happy I was able to release that fish so it could go out and, you know, make more jacks. Guys, there is such a massive school out there that are way too far to reach. I'm looking at like a thousand of them and they just do not care. They're staying in that cleaner water out there. Ah, you could probably almost even see it on the GoPro. There's so many of them. Bro. <laughs> Ricky, what do you think about that? This is what happens at Juno Pier. You just fish, stare at stuff. The fish stay out there. Bro, their backs are out of the water. That look like a battle pass. Breeder, look at him. Oh, he's off. I'll keep the school around. Mahi fishing. All right, no more fun. Yeah. Get up here. Come here. Get over here. Nicely. Dude, that's not a bad one. Get. That thing's good, dude. <laughs> On top, boy, on He's top. like seven, eight pounds. It's a good blue, dude. Yeah. I almost caught a follower, but right, I sucked. Johnny. Johnny. Oh. Not bad at all. What did he eat? Dead bait. Dead bait on bottom. Dude, look at those teeth. You're gonna try and cut them, <laughs> cut your own line. <laughs> Still in the way. So I decided to end the day right there and come back and fish again the next day with the intent of fishing for jacks again, but also taking advantage of any species that might be out there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh! Highlighter! Oh! Highlighter here! Oh. Hurry up, highlighter! Oh, no, 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 hold on. Dude, no, <laughs> no let him yeah, catch yeah. it. Let him catch it. Here, highlighter. Highlighter, hurry up. Hey, I just want you to make me proud. No, you better catch no, this thing. Highlighter, cut a fish. First time for everything. They're chasing the shit out of mine. Reels off the wall. Well, that's good. Graphite real seed. Yeah, you're gonna have to catch something on a Vansall 100. No balls. <laughs> it's custom right there. So we had a big school of jacks coming from left to right. They chased mine. Didn't eat it, but they ate Cliff's bait. And Cliff doesn't like catching fish, so he just hands off his rods. <laughs> He's just here for comedic relief. I, I love my chummy chummy. <laughs> <laughs> I like the come on. The best part is the blow up. I ain't got those fish fired up for me. That's 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 tough. So, let's just hope that the shark doesn't eat it or the wave doesn't eat it underneath the pier. Those are the two things that I'm asking that you make sure you don't do. Well, it's still a 150, so I can't really promise anything. Well, you know, man, try harder. That's a big shark. Oh, oh, that's, that's a big shark. Come on, highlight. Let him eat it. Let him eat it. Put it. Put it. Two million views. Get my ice cream back. Uh, hopefully, over, but I don't know. I'm trying to spook the shark. I don't think he cares. I don't think he. <laughs> no, he definitely didn't. I was big and black. <laughs> <laughs> only the only the pier guys are even gonna know. <laughs> Come on, get in the sauce. Right. Make me proud. Make me proud. Come on, get some cranks in. You need some cranks on them. You need some cranks on them. Gain some line. Gain some line. Gain some line. Gain some line. Gain, 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 gain. Oh, 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 It's okay. I'm not mad. I'm in GT I'm just, ice creams work. I'm just, I'm just disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> Feels like my whole family. That was straight out the box. As I pulled up to the pier on day two, there wasn't much going on. Most of the water was pretty dirty and the jacks were staying out pretty far. I was seeing them, but I wasn't really able to reach them. 
As the day went on, we started to see more and more, and your boy did not hook up, but a couple of the guys on the pier did hook up. And uh, again, that rough water took its toll, and uh, a couple jacks got lost. Ray, take your time with it. Take your time with it. Yeah, you have to with these swells. Keep doing your thing. That's so majestic. Yeah, it's not windy out here at all. <laughs> Just a little light breeze, huh? Oh yeah, drag stream in action. Oh man, yo, that's always solid. <laughs> this is pure fishing. I would just loosen my drag if I was him. Let that thing run into the surf. Oh yes, look at this tangle. Give it to him, give it to him. Give him the rod, Ray. Yeah, I got it. Give him the rod. Yeah, that thing's going straight to the corner. Watch out, he's coming through. Whoa! It's just one of those days, man. <laughs> Highlighter leaves, everything goes in chaos. This is what we call redemption time. Yes, sir. No pressure. No, no pressure. Wind in his face. Oh, yeah. Is this man on an Abercrombie model? Who knows? Who knows? Hole in his NLBN shirt. It's tight. There's going to be no audio except for this wind. This is going to be Beers with Ryan talking over the footage. Bring it to the side right here. Four to one gear oh ratio. Oh my gosh, look at those head shakes, dude. Oh, that's yeah, well, listen, you caught the smallest one, dude. <laughs> Make me proud, Blair. I even broke out the big camera for you. This is your 10 seconds of fame. That scares me. <laughs> this is more cardio than I wanted to do. Yeah, I'm already, I, I'm already tired. <laughs> Look at them legs moving. This thing's big. He's gonna go. Blair. If you get him. This thing's probably him. five pounds, honestly. It's <laughs> going out for another run. In the track. I don't know what to do here. This is very jack like. Besides moral support. Give them the sound. Alright, we'll get out of the way. Coming down. Oh god, towards the beach. Got it. How far? Wow, look at that. One hand on the camera, one hand on the rod. What a beast, bro. What a beast. I'll have to go down. Super. There it oh, is, the big old jack. On, no, I need to go under. Under, under, under. Just lock drag. Go I'm Blair, trying, bro. Dude, go. it's too, you get too old one day and you can't lock drag anymore. I sailfish, bro. What's <laughs> <laughs> up, special? Nah, bro, this thing is big. Blair, right here, Blair. 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 I'm scared, guys. Coming down, coming down, coming down. Just going over, going over. <laughs> this is what I signed up for. This is a lot of cardio, my man. <laughs> I am very tired. We're gonna be next to Randy, bro. 
Come on. Oh, we got a couple deadlines. This is good. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh! Good. Ain't, what do you think about that? Ain't no good. Ain't That's no the good. Thing about pier fishing, right there. You got your beat. Well, so. All right. Blair had like 12 people's lines tangled in there, and yes, that's that's pure fishing for you. Yeah, Unfortunately, those lines added that extra, extra tension, and the fish broke off when he was caught in the no swell. Good. Something that's pretty special to pure fishing in Southeast Florida is in the springtime, you may have the chance to sight fish a cobia. That's one of the reasons that I almost always have a rod with a cobia jig on this time of year because it's one of my favorite fish to catch. Delicious hard fighting and super super cool because they're visual feeders you know you put that jig in front of them they react to it you watch them eat it in front of you and you set the hook so an awesome fish and absolutely one of my favorites sometimes though even though most guys come out here with the intent of sight fishing them Kobe are caught on bottom base they're caught randomly and they're caught by people that may not even know what they're necessarily doing or what they've necessarily got and that is exactly what's happening here so we're all standing out here with these and the one guy fishing bait just hooked a cobia. It's down here somewhere. Should come back up in a sec. We're all looking to sight fish one. The one guy fishing bait found one. There he is right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. He's shaking his head. Might come back up on top. Come on down. Watch your feet, watch your feet, watch your feet. Well, you don't, you won't want him right here because he swells. You want him on one side or the other. Big waves. You're gonna want to bring him to the side. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're bringing down. That's keeper. No, 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 no. Keeper, boy. Hold on. Hey, pull the net up. Pull the net up. Keeper. Bro, I literally just lost that fish on the wall. Hey, Blair, man. Oh, that was Can't on catch video. them all, Gaffin, dude. Cool. You know, that's why Blair makes it. Oh, yeah, 42, boy. Let me go to there. 38. There you go. Yeah. 39, 40. <laughs> Highlighted. 40. 40. 40. Hey, he really don't know what he just did here. We all here for <laughs> two weeks. <laughs> Look at that for like Two years. Yo. You and I, we both caught Kobe on the pier before, right? Yes. And we we're both looking at that thing. We're like, oh, it was probably short. And then yeah. it comes up and we're like, no, dude. That thing's legal, dude. And Blair Definitely. comes over, grabs his gaff. We're like, much preferable to gaff those fish, vice net them, because they tend to jump out of the net, especially the janky pier one. So good job, man. Sick you saved the day. Dude, that's awesome. Good for that guy, well, honestly. You're going to love this video, too, because it looks sick. You literally see the fish just get yeeted by the cat. <laughs> one of the last things that you can do in the evening time in the spring on the pier is catch a kingfish. They come in in the evening and they eat either live baits or they eat lures. And I am a guy that will always be throwing lures for them. I throw these big Rapala X traps. Watch this, guys. So I was just casting a Rapala X trap and I just hooked a nice kingfish. Oh my God, I was not expecting this today. Nice king. Oh yeah, buddy! <laughs> Dude, this is like pier fishing, man. This is like a real pier day.
Larry, you got me? Hey, hold on, let me get out of your way. Get out of your way. You can grab that rod too. That diamond jig rod. Blair, you ready? Watch out. Come over if you have to. Ryan, come over. No, no, no. Drop it. No! Oh! Came off right there, dude. Oh. Damn it. Heartbreaking. Ah. Sometimes they just come out. Uh, well, I appreciate you trying. No worries. <laughs> Dang it. That was a good one. That was a good one. Oh, man. I hope you guys saw that. <laughs> that was a nice king. I haven't caught a nice king off the pier in a long time. Still a king though. Big wave. There you go. Hell yeah. Yay! Teamwork makes the dream work. Well, Woo! Eat. No. <laughs> hey man, good job. So that's what they look like. I can't get them to the pier, at least someone can. Bro, I've been on like a dry spell for like a year. Got one so Evan caught this kingfish here on a bait. It's nice to see one up close and personal because uh, your boy can't actually land his, but definitely an awesome fish. Super, super fun to fish for. A couple spectacular days of pier fishing. Kind of bummed that I missed a shot at a nice cobia and missed my shot at a kingfish, but you know what, it is what it is and that's fishing. Pretty stoked that I got to show you guys, you know, something that's near and dear to my heart, something that I grew up doing, and something that still gets me excited to this day, over a decade later after I grew up doing this stuff. So, I mean, what's not to like about a view like this, you know? I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm going to ask you to do me a big favor and check out this video right here. This is a throwback pier video from back in the day. Some f super fun stuff, some co super cool stuff. I'll see you guys over there.